your Bitmoji walk. This tutorial covers how to crop Bitmojis, resize a slide and download it as a JPEG, and create and customize a GIF. We'll be using Google Slides, Remove.bg, and EasyGIF.com. First, I've started by selecting four Bitmojis from my Chrome extension, and I dragged and dropped them in, and I resized them to make them all about the same scale. Then I'm going to crop the torsos off of three of them using the crop tool so that I have the legs. So I've selected some bit Bitmojis with different leg positions. And then I'm going to resize the slide. Um, so first I need to select all, so control A and then control V to cut. And then file, page setup, select custom, and I made mine three inches by six inches and then control V to paste that back into position. And just move the legs so they're off the slide because when I download this as an image, it will only download what's in the white square. So go to file, download, JPEG. And now I have the first image in my walking animation. Now I'll crop out the legs on this first image to keep the torso. And I'll move the other legs into position. And this can be a little bit fiddly to get it exactly how you want it. Um, you can resize, move it around. If you can't quite get it quite there, go to the zoom tool. So at 200%, I'm like, ah, I can move that a little bit more exactly in position. And that looks pretty good. So then download that as an image again, file, download, JPEG. And it's in my downloads. So delete the legs and repeat for the next two sets of legs. So I'll end up with four images I will have downloaded with four different leg positions. Once I have that, I need to go to remove.bg. It's a website. And I'm going to drag and drop the images from my downloads folder onto the website. And you'll see the gray and white checkerboard in the background means it's making my white background transparent. So then click downloads. Just drag it, drop it, download it. Drag it, drop it, download it. Repeat that for all four images. And now you'll have your images with a removed background in your downloads folder. Next, go to easygift.com slash maker, choose your files. I've got four of them. You can add more if you wanted. Um, and then you can see them there. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can see those better in my browser. So I can adjust the timing, but for now, let's just see what happens if we say make GIF. So because our backgrounds are transparent, select don't stack frames. And you'll see now when, when I try that again, my legs are separate, but now it kind of looks like I'm walking backwards. So I can fiddle with the sequence by dragging and dropping. I can also change the timing. That looks better. I could fiddle with it some more if I wanted to, but that's pretty good for now. So if I'm happy with it, then I go to optimize the GIF just to help compress the file size. Because as you add images to various documents, size can become an issue for um, people viewing it and loading time and then click save. So now my walking GIF is in my downloads. So if I just go back to my slides, I can see it by dragging it in and then in present mode, I'm walking. That's how you make a walking bitmoji.